Uh, Glad Rap Channel, you're with Nigel James Elliott. So, Iron Fist of Fury 5, how did you think it went? Iron Fist 5. Oh, bro, it was a good night tonight. Well done, fights were good, well matched. Uh, you know, the 18 ounce gloves worked well, the corporates, headgears, safety was paramount. Um, I, th I think it was very successful, yeah. Yeah, there's been a lot of uh, focus on, on the safety aspect of, of, the, of it, right? Have you noticed the increased pressure? There's absolutely pressure, more pressure, but I mean, think, I think with what's in place now, with, with the headgears and, and the 18, 18 ounce gloves, it's definitely working. And um, the, the refs, are, they're on board now, and they're obviously stopping with a nice hard punch. They're in their eight count straight away, so they're doing their part. So uh, do you still miss the, the fighting days, or are you starting to enjoy, you know, being a promoter? You enjoying, enjoying it? Yeah, I've, I've, I mean, you still get hungry, but I, I had a fight, eight-round fight, uh, was it two weeks ago in Dunedin, okay. fought a younger opponent. I managed to last to uh, 10 seconds into the seventh, almost went to the eighth round. But um, yeah, it's tough now, 41 and, and fighting these young fellas, but, and you just can't go with them, can't go with them, but, and you want to, the body doesn't want to do it. But um, definitely miss it, but I'm happy to be on this end now and, and give opportunities to younger fellas. There's a couple of pro debuters tonight on my show, and you know, it's grassroots, and that's what we're about as well, these pro boys. And yeah, yeah. So what's it like putting shows in Cambridge, you know? Uh, it's definitely a big boxing scene over here, plenty of people here to, to see it. I mean, you enjoying these events here in Cambridge? Yeah, well, if you've seen, the, if you watch the Glad Rap channel, there's, um, there's the Jockey Boys tonight, Troy Harris and Jake Bayless. And um, there's, a big, there's a big crowd that comes with the, the racing industry. And big ups to Jake, uh, sorry, to Troy Harris getting up off, with popping his shoulder out tonight. And uh, Jake Bayless, I think he came over the top in the end with a bit of fitness and, and he actually took advantage of that, the fact, but to, to Troy getting up, that's awesome, that's awesome. Big what's, heart. It, yeah, what's it like training these, these fighters? Um, it's, it's big for the industry because they come to me and, and a lot of them um, want to get fitter for their riding, track riding and jockeys and stuff, and, and, and obviously they ride 500 kg animals, so they're, they're like, I mean, that's the toughest people you can imagine. Anyway, they get out there and do that, and so they come to this side of it and they just, they just dig deep, they've got big hearts and, and it makes it easier. They give it all. You know, it's a very rare to see a venue with with a beautiful lake background. Uh, have you had many events at, at this location here? This is our second event here. We had Iron Fist. Was it? Must have been three. Iron Fist three was here, and Josh Naika. Josh Naika headlined it. Yeah, and oh, that was a superb show. Yeah, Josh came out pro debut, took a win. Now he's retired. I tried to get him back out of retirement, but oh, that was a it was an awesome show. And like you say, the venue's top notch. Everything's like new facilities. You walk into the toilet, the lights come on, the, everything's just flash. Yeah, the automatic tabs. Automatic tabs, yeah, tabs, it's awesome. Yeah, because not only are you showcasing boxing, but you're also showcasing the beautiful location of Cambridge, you know, putting it on the spotlight. Yeah, well, we stick to Cambridge, it's, it's awesome. I'm actually going to set up a boxing gym out here now in um, early January, get some people involved out here because, I mean, they, they, at this stage, they're travelling to my house, which is in Hamilton, so I might as well bring it to them. Yeah. And uh, who's this? Uh, is this your latest pupil? This is my daughter Saskia. She just, she has done a bit of training. She's a bit of training a couple of years ago. She's buttoned off for a little bit. She's into her tennis now, but but we're going to get her back involved soon and uh, look out the boxing scene. What do you think of the show tonight? Really awesome. You know, your dad puts on pretty good shows, huh? Yeah. So Nigel, you know it's almost the close of 2018. So um, any big plans for 2019? I know you got the new gym. Uh, any big fights? Something? Something? Uh, we'll just keep showcasing at uh, what we can with the pro boxing. Um, ideally, my Maddie boy Maddie Mez should have been out here tonight, fighting for a title, but he got injured. So so I got to watch him on the sidelines tonight with the professional and the, la the last couple of corporates and enjoy a beer and watch that. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll assess, we'll assess, and um, maybe take a little bit of a break. But um, yeah, we'll just go back and watch JP on the fifteenth, and uh, all those undercards, Bowen and Agent the Terror, and, and Andre, you know, Mikhailovich. It's, it's going to be an awesome card. So I think I'll sit back and watch that. And can I get a few predictions, maybe, uh, for the event on the fifteenth? Um, I think Bowen for sure. I think um, Adrian's going to give Mikhailovich a bit of a. He'll, he'll take him. He'll take him into the rounds anyway. Something that Mikhailovich hasn't really had had his way. And JP, round four, round four KO. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the hit the the welterweight girls, the local girl, no Nort's girl. <laughs> and uh, plans for Christmas? Christmas will be moving into my new farm. 
well. You're a farmer as well? Uh, horse trainer. Okay, what? <laughs> Can you tell us what success you've had with horse training? Um, I've been training for probably two, three years now. I've been this close to training a winner. I've had a couple of close seconds. I've had a few thirds. And in saying that, I'm a small owner trainer. And then you've got the big owners. They have like 100 horses in their, in their, under their ranks. I've got two or three. So it's a numbers game. And, and what I've done in that industry is it's been actually quite good with the placings that I've had. Probably had four or five horses make the track. And for three or four placings and a couple of seconds, it's pretty good. Do you do, do the thing where you break a horse? Have you heard of, what? Yeah, do you, you've done that? Yeah, I break the horse. So I don't actually ride them. So my wife, Tammy Elliott, she gets on and I do all the groundwork and stuff. And, um, and she trusts me that I've done enough, uh, good enough for her to actually get on their back. And she does that part. And this one here, this young one here, she's actually ridden a couple of my racehorses and track work and that at home. So, yeah. How do you do it all? How do you, how do you train horses, train fighters, promote events? What's the, what's the secret? Um, it's, I think it's just getting up in the morning and living life and um, just setting goals, challenges and um, just forget the past and move on and have your plans, your goals, yeah. Fantastic, what an inspiration, that's something I didn't know about you, so. Uh... The horse training side? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's something that you, you get in the blood and, and it gets addictive, it costs a bit of money, but, um, but we'll take it to as high as we can. We're looking for owners to come on board and stuff like that. And... Um, but yeah, ho hopefully we've got a winner coming up next week at Ellerslie. What's the name of these horses? Do you got some interesting names? Though? The last tsunami. Next <laughs> next Thursday at Ellerslie. That's What's awesome. the money on it? Well, thank you, thank you, Nigel, and thanks for the great show and thanks for the good event you put on. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. Eh? Cool. Thank you.